This morning, we are celebrating a black history hero who's the epitome of kindness, community, and strength. Today, Norman is in Little Rock, Arkansas, outside the home of Miss Annie Abrams, a civil rights pioneer who's the cornerstone of that community and beyond. So tell us what's going on, Janae. Well, good morning to you guys. There is no place in Little Rock like Annie Abrams' front porch. Am I right, guys? This is where she is known to hold court. It's a special place where people feel comfortable just coming to chat, asking questions, or getting Miss Annie's advice. She has no idea that we are here this morning or that all these people are here to celebrate her, but she's about to find out. Let's go get her. All right, ready? Annie Abrams! Annie Abrams! Come outside! <laughs> She's coming! Oh, and she is dressed up for the occasion! Yes, Miss Annie! Miss Annie, I am Janae Norman. You Hi, are Janae. live on Good Morning America right now. Yes! Uh, good. We gotta get her! We gotta get you outside! Come on! you this morning. Oh we are kicking off Black History Month. And Miss Annie, we could not think of anyone better to celebrate oh, first baby. than you. Everybody is here, Miss Annie. Oh. But we're going to show America your story first, so watch right here. Oh, my goodness. Goodness. Well, hey, I don't Annie Mabel McDaniel Abrams. I believe in service is the rent you pay to stay on God's earth. Or Mother Abrams, as she's known to the Little Rock community, has been a force for change in Arkansas since the Civil Rights Movement. Mother Abrams is truly a city of Little Rock matriarch. When the Little Rock Nine faced down angry mobs and the Arkansas National Guard to integrate the formerly all-white Central High School in 1957, their mentors behind the scenes included Annie Abrams. She went on to send all four of her children to Little Rock Central, becoming the school's first black PTA president. Knowing the battle that it took to get you know, the black students here, I appreciated it. She was a prominent figure in that school, so my friends all knew my mom. In total, 14 of her descendants, including seven grandchildren and three great-grandchildren, have attended the school she worked to desegregate. No child can go to the 10th grade at Little Rock Central without knowing what happened in 1957 and the people who were involved. While caring for her husband, Orville Sr., after he had a stroke, Abrams directed her activism towards mentorship, becoming a sounding board for those in public office, regardless of political party. When you go to your house and the governor of the state is sitting on the porch talking to her, then you say, you know what, she knows some people. I don't know of any uh, city or state leader uh, that has not sought her counsel, her wisdom, her support. Mother Abrams has always been here. And it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on, um, she's going to uh, be there to counsel you. Annie's passion for her home state, driving her to keep its history alive, working to have a street named for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., coordinating Little Rock Nine anniversary commemorations, and even turning her home into a museum. She was inducted into the Black Hall of Fame here in Arkansas. She received an award from Coretta Scott King. Last year, Little Rock declared her 90th birthday, Annie Day, giving her a key to the city where she still holds court on her front porch. People are calling her every day, asking for advice. She has an answer for you. If she doesn't have the answer, she has the people that she knows that she will put you in contact with. She is black history. She has earned her place. She just has an unbelievable spirit that uh, makes this city, makes this state, it makes this country a better place. Now the praise for Miss Annie Mabel McDaniel Abrams. You are black history and I love you. And I love you too. Black history and I love you. And I love you too. <laughs> oh, Mother Abrams, seeing all of that love, how does that feel? Oh my God, I feel like a little girl in the, having a birthday party. Oh. <laughs> and, and Pam, you are her beloved daughter. She's Mother Abrams to everybody, but she's your mom. What is this like for you? It's phenomenal. Every day is a new day, and yeah. I don't know what it may bring, but we love her, and we're grateful for her. Well, we, are, we should all be grateful 
for Miss Annie. And you know, Miss Annie, you are not just a special person. You are a force of nature. You pushed to establish the annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade. You even pushed to get High Street here in Little Rock, named after Dr. King. You've done so much for this community. Child and now Buffett, Little Rock, you see everybody Buffett, you know. Don't leave Charles Buffett out the first May. I work too hard for this. Yeah. Well, now Little Rock wants to honor you the same way you honor Dr. King. And I've got the Little Rock City Manager here to help me out, Bruce Moore. Yay! Help us out. Yay! Oh, baby. On behalf of the city of Little Rock, you have your own street now. It is a street sign with your name on it, Miss Annie. And, and you know what? That is not all. Our friends at Wells Fargo heard about all that you've done and all they want to celebrate all that you've done for black history they heard about the scholarship in your name at washita baptist university and they want to celebrate black excellence in your community so they are donating twenty-five thousand dollars to the annie abrams living legacy oh, oh i've been, see, I've yes. been, I've been is, seeing this for years and now oh <laughs> your advice to the next generation of leaders, Miss Annie? Honey, listen, you can't be giving to God's children. That's all I've ever done. Just giving. There you go. I, was, I wasn't a millionaire, but I gave away love. You in gave the million. everything you could. Miss Annie, you are incredible. Congratulations. <laughs> Guys, back to you. Oh, oh my God. That's amazing. Just give her a big hug for us. I just hope. <laughs> I say we bring Miss Annie know, back every Ronnie day. Oh, big hug. Can I give you a hug? Yes, thank you. Oh, my God. I just, well. I love that. She's still talking. I wasn't a millionaire, but yeah. I gave away love. She did. And Beautiful. that smile, that smile of hers. And that, oh! <laughs> no, love Miss Annie. We love you, Miss Annie. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.